All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Akakwadash. Double honor to my elders and apostles, a great millstone, which are the men that rule well, the men that taught us his truth. Peace, blessings, and citations to the elect as always. Uh, real quick, scripture of the day. You know, the, it's, the inspiration of this lesson comes from um, pretty much just what's going on right now, man, you know. We're in uh, end times, man. We're in, man, we're in beautiful times, man. The end time prophecies being fulfilled. All right. We're in that season of those last final prophecies, waiting on those to be fulfilled so that, you know, the prophecy of Yahweh Shai returning can, can be fulfilled and the kingdom of heaven can be established under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, King David on down. Okay. We're in those times and the only scripture that really. Well, no, there's plenty of scriptures that come to mind when thinking of this topic, but more specifically for the scripture of the day, it was Proverbs 22 and 3, all right? And I literally just did a lesson a few seconds ago, uh, well, a few minutes ago, and I was just thinking about the news and prophecy that the Elder Yashawamba made and, you know, all these different things, all these confusing things that's going on. And, you know, he brought out a lot of precepts, um, he brought out a few precepts in that, uh, you know, in the news and prophecy video. And the preset that I was mainly thinking of was um, Proverbs 22 and 3, especially with the whole uh, Key Scott Bridge, all right, that uh, went down recently, which was close to uh, close to home, man. All right, I live uh, in the DMV area myself. Um, I live in a different state from Maryland, but, you know, that's uh, real close to home, man. That's not too far from me, you know, that where that incident happened. And it just, you know, it, it's a reality check because it's like, man, just like that, you know, evil E can cause a situation you know because any he can create any situation and lock this whole thing down and you forget sometimes because you see those types of things happening all over the world you know uh you know you'll see bridges collapsing you'll see bombs going off in, in the middle east right but something like this is you know literally up the road is like okay yeah you got to remember we ain't in regular times all right that's why the scripture today is proverbs 22 and 3 a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Now, a prudent man is a, is a wise man, all right, because that's one of the attributes of a wise man. Prudent means foresight, which is one of the fruits of uh, wisdom, all right, according to the scriptures, okay? So, a prudent man foreseeth the evil. Once you, you know, that's not a normal situation that happened. That's going to lead into something else, which will lead into something else, which will lead into, you know, next thing you know, you got troops uh, you know at your front door and 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 you on your way to work and you see you know military all over right especially you that work in the city uh you know especially dc you see them anyway right but even more so you'll see them in everywhere you know you'll, you'll see them everywhere you'll see them in your suburban town making sure everything is cool right because uh you know they're waiting on an attack so called you know things like that right so you know hey we gotta be. We gotta be using our foresight, man. We gotta hide ourselves, and and the only way we could truly hide ourselves, you know, is within the scriptures, man. Meaning, you know, we put on the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We we continue to read and have faith in His word and in His promises. That's our real defense, you know. The scriptures say in Ephesians, uh, talk. It talks about the shield of faith. Paul talked about the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, you know, having your feet shod with your prep uh, with with uh, the gospel of peace, you know. With the preparation of the gospel of peace, roughly paraphrasing, right? Those are the different ways that we're going to hide ourselves, all right? Because we could foresee the evil now. That event was an evil event, but, you know, it only affected the lives of, uh, well, affected the lives of many people, but as far as, you know, immediate, you know, was the, the men that lost their lives that day. But other than that, you know, it's affecting imports, it affected big companies on their money and things like that. Eventually, you know, even more, it'll affect even more things, right? Multi millions of dollars was affected, right? That's evil, you know, which means bad time, right? But what the prudent man is going to hide himself, he's going to foresee that evil and hide himself, which we've been doing, you know, we've been hiding ourselves within within the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai and the mercy that He has promised. It says, but the simple pass on and are punished, right? If you look at this event as just another event that just so happened because no one for some reason no one believes we're in end times but it is what it is that's cool man you know that, that's the thing though that's why the scriptures speak about a remnant being saved because you see not everybody's meant to take heed to the warnings only the prudent those that are prudent all right and they're gonna hide themselves you know you, those of you that have the eyes to see and the ears to hear 
All right, as is a simple, but the simple pass on and are punished. All right, you you fools out there that decide not to believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and the warnings that the prophets are issuing, man, you're going to be punished. Because we we telling you, man, and, and now these things are hitting close to home. You got the eclipse happening April 8th, which is this week. Today's the second. All right, towards the end of this week, I believe is when it's going to... No, next Monday, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think is the 8th. And, you know, or next... Is it next Monday? Yeah, next Monday will be April 8th, man. And, and what? Hey, you know, they're, they're, you know, you got Esau preparing. You got CERN. CERN is back up. You know, they back out. They trying to, you know, you got, hey, we, it's going to, it's going to, we're in exciting times, man. All right. Because some people might see those things and get scared. We don't. We, because we know that whatever evil Esau brings, man, how about Shemiel Shai, all right, is going to deliver us, Lord, to where we be. The, like the scriptures say, you know, whoso feareth the Lord. Let me get it. Let's see, Rock 33. And this is how we hide ourselves. Because we have scriptures like this to comfort us. Which is worth more than any physical shield or sword or, or buckler. Sirach 33 and 1. There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord. But in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. Right. So no, nothing evil will happen to those that fear Yahweh. Which ultimately is the elect. Those that truly fear the Lord. All right. Lord, will we be a part of the elect? All right. So, you know, that's all I wanted to bring out, man. Scripture of the day, which is uh, April 2nd, 2024. All right. I just want to, uh, yeah, I want to end it by giving all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh by Hashem Kakudash, the bonus of my elders and apostles, a great millstone, which are the men that rule well and that taught us his truth. Peace, blessings, and citations to the elect, as always. I want to say Shalom.